The abortion pill battle is heading to the U.S. Supreme Court this morning, nearly two years after the high court overturned the landmark Roe v. Wade case. Now, this time, access to the abortion pill is on the line. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live outside the federal building where a local protest is happening this afternoon. Marissa? Yeah, good morning to you both. Yeah, the group is called Hands Off. They're a reproductive justice organization. They plan to pick it here in less than an hour at the same time that these cases will be debated at the Supreme Court. Again, we will hear arguments about this pill called Mifeprestone, which the Food and Drug Administration approved back in 2000, uh, in 2000 rather, and then expanded the time frame it could be used and made easier to get in 2016. Now, the court is weighing whether to roll back Back those efforts by the FDA. A medical anti-abortion group has argued the FDA acted unlawfully when it relaxed the rules around the pill's use. This morning, the justices will have to first decide whether that medical group has the legal standing to challenge the FDA in the first place and then decide whether the FDA's changes to the pill's use are legal. Hanging in the balance is the availability of the pill across the country. States that restrict abortion access and those that protect it, like Illinois, would all be impacted by the decision. In the end, I think the court will be reticent to really undermine the power of the FDA because they know this isn't just about mifepristone. This is also about other drugs. Now, the justices are expected to make a decision about this in June. If this rollback happens, the pill would be accessible at seven weeks, not 10 weeks of pregnancy. And we're told it would be much harder to get access to. Live in the Loop, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.